good old Wisconsin backroads. Welcome back to another episode of AP Bassin. Welcome to Wisconsin. Um, it's been a minute since I filmed here. My favorite state when it comes to bass fishing when I was growing up because it was so close to Illinois and Illinois is, it's Illinois. You guys know. Well, I'm joined also by Brett over here. Um, Brett is going to be helping film today as well as I have a very cool kind of, eh, you guys will see. I'm not going to spoil anything. I don't want to be that guy that over promises and then under delivers. I'm going to under deliver, over deliver. I'm going to deliver something and I'm going to promise nothing. How about that? Also, somebody asked for kind of timestamps on these videos. That way you guys can keep up to what's going on. And I'm going to be trying to post more frequently. That's what every YouTuber says. I think one Ron and I have said we're going daily about 15 times in the past six months. So, shout out to you, Mike. And no, we're not going daily. Maybe. We'll see. Today is July 9th. It is a couple days after the 4th of July. A couple days after the 4th of July. I'm not really sure where I'm at, so I'm going to have to get back to my directions. But here's the gist. I picked up a new boat right before the 4th. We're going to be fishing out of it today. We're going to be doing some frog fishing and it's going to be super cool. I'm going to do the boat walkthrough after this video. I've actually been fishing out of this boat all weekend, fun fishing. I thought it'd be super cool to get to know the boat before I showed you guys it. Kind of, you know, get that personal connection. I've had too much coffee. Let's get to the lake. Let's do some fishing. All right, Fred is in the water right there. He is going to hold the troll motor. I'm gonna drop the truck and the trailer off at my buddy's house now, and we are gonna do some fishing. I'll meet you over there around the point. Okay. So, Brett is gonna be filming with me for a little while. Um, he's actually still in high school. He just turned 18, but he has one more year of high school left. He was the one who was running the Frostbite Instagram and still running the Frostbite Instagram. And he really wanted to come to Chicago and film some videos for me. I was like, yeah, why not? Um, we've got a small gap of opportunity here to make some really cool content for you guys. And I'm always happy to have somebody help me out, um, as you guys know. The East Coast series was super exciting and it was cool to be kind of solo um, for a little bit. But my next trip, I'm gonna definitely need somebody to go with me. So this will be good as well as my truck is still on the East Coast. I'm gonna be going back there this fall or this summer still, uh, as soon as John gets done with doing John things and uh, go meet back up with him and go back up there. So things are good. I'm gonna park this truck, get back to Brett out there, rig up and get out on the water and film a good old fishing video for you guys. This boat is new. I've never done a boat walkthrough, which that's the next thing I'm gonna do. But until then, let's just get to fishing. Hey, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Let's get to fishing. Stay tuned. Let's rip some lips. All right, guys. We're on the water. We've made it. Um, forgot to mention this this morning. Brett's actually from a small town in Minnesota. Perham. Perham. And he's never been to Dunkin' Donuts, so I took him to Dunkin' Donuts for the first time. Good? Good. It was good. He enjoyed it. And uh, he's going to be behind the camera today. I'm going to go over my three top baits for summertime fishing for shallow summertime fishing um obviously you guys know that when it comes to summertime a lot of fish go deep but it's to that point where there's still some fish shallow and i'm going to try and target those shallow fish let's see those three baits let's, let me talk about those three baits hey guys here's the three baits the main focus today is going to be the filthy frog um this is by far my favorite frog that I've ever used. I'm not just saying that because it's a Guggen Squad frog. I'm saying that because of the design work that went into this, um, just the overall body of it, as well as that little sh shrink tubing on the bottom of it there. I don't know if you could see that on the camera, but that legit makes sure that no water gets into this frog. So it's gonna last a lot longer. It walks the dog perfectly. You guys are gonna hopefully see some blow-ups here because this is what I wanna focus on. But you guys know sometimes I don't eat top water. So that's why we've got a lunker log rig. Wacky style. Um, this will be kind of more of a follow-up bait if I miss him on the top water. Hopefully I don't have to go and do a little finesse fishing. And the second bait that I like to use is a jig. This is a thick jig. I've trimmed down the skirt and I've actually put a junior. We've got new junior craws back in stock on the Guggen Squad website. And this little little snack a rooney, little snack a rooney, bass snack a rooney there is gonna hopefully catch some fish. So we'll start off with the frog 
do a little open water frogging, go in the back of this bay, and go from there. First cast, open water frogging. This is a little canal area that has some current that goes through it, so that's why there's usually a fish in here. A lot of people are scared to throw frogs around areas that don't have um, vegetation on the surface, but frogs actually are perfect in open water, especially this killer gill color I'm throwing. Oh, what the? size of that pike one issue with the water temp being so hot fish tend to die oh, no. switching to the jig oh the jig there's one oh ho ho ah ha ha Next cast after talking about how I didn't get a bite, we hooked. Yeah, that fish came flying out of my hands, it happens. Um, with it being so hot though, I'm not gonna keep these fish out of the water and talk about them. Just put them right back in. Little bass. Bass are so hardy though. You could catch them this time of year as long as you're not fishing deep and kind of bring them out of deep water. Muskies and stuff like that, you definitely don't want to fish for when the water temp gets above 80. And a lot of the Midwest is above 80 right now. Another one. Okay, I just put the frog down and threw the jig, so maybe that's the answer. Again. The first fish was probably in two feet of water. That fish was in maybe a foot of water. Fish number two. Oh! You little, so you see we're, we're having a bunch of little fish come up, but we'll try, we'll catch this one for you just to show you that it is a bass. Oh, yep, you got it. <laughs> Why? You can't eat the frog. No. Stop. Stop. Okay. Not really sure why I want, not sure why I wanted to catch that one because I have now lost my Blunker log, and I saw this fish try and blow up on the frog. Like his mouth is as big as my filthy frog. Okay, fish number three. Oh, that's just a oh what? Oh, oh my God! Big pike, big pike! Oh my! It's a carp! It's a carp trying to eat my frog. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Oh, he's gonna eat the jig. What? Oh my god, there they are. There's carp. Eat it. Don't get this. Okay. I got a feeling I can. We have like a little fly or something. You wonder sometimes about fish and about what this thing was thinking. Beautiful sunfish, though. A little bluegill. Okay. That's not what we're after. I want something that pulls some drag here. Oh my gosh, they're just mauling those berries. It wasn't that bizarre what I saw there with the carp feeding, because I do remember them busting. I caught one on a popper on Never Stop Tour, I remember that. Um, but they wouldn't, they would like follow my bait, but they just were so smart. Carper played off as a dumb fish, but they actually have super key vision and they're pretty smart. So I couldn't end up catching one. I grabbed some berries once I got the popper out of the tree. 
Now we're back to bass fishing. We have a storm rolling in. Hopefully it misses us. And also hopefully it makes the fish bite because only the little ones seem to be biting. Well guys, I might've got a little too excited about the frog bite. Usually this lake, I'm seeing little dead patches of weeds and like green stuff. They spray this thing for weeds. Um, it's kind of sad. A lot of Wisconsin lakes spray weeds. Ah, I kind of get it at some point, but I also don't exactly get it due to the fact of the fishing would be so much better if they didn't do that. Oh, ooh, I just got bit. Also, um, not sure if today is National Mow Your Lawn Day, but I'm pretty sure every single resident is mowing their lawn. I think I've burned the soles of my feet. They have no feeling anymore. Kind of like my heart. And I'm calling it first frog blow up on this cast. Here we go. JK, first frog blow up on this cast. JK. A lot of you guys have been asking about the rods and when they're gonna be coming out and kind of that sort of deal. We're hoping this fall. Um, right now I'm using just an action sample. As you can tell, it has no graphics on or anything we've kind of decided how we want the rods to look and we you guys have seen that in the instagram posts and stuff but the most important thing is action so we're still got a couple rods where we're not exactly happy with them they're close they're just not perfect so that's what's cool about this catch go collaboration we have a lot of time and a lot of runs to try and make it right we want it to be right instead of just releasing something we're half fast happy with if that makes sense to you guys it looks like grass killer. Did not make it over here. Oh my god. Come on over here. Oh. Not big. Hooked perfect. Like I was saying there, I don't know if you guys caught that, but it said the grass killer. This whole lake is usually filled with lily pads and grass, but I could tell that they sprayed and uh, it looks like they missed this spot, which means there's going to be fish in it. Number four. Fish number four. See ya. Thanks, bud. Oh. Oh. No. Okay. Well, it took off. Brett's head there on that hook set. Here we go. How do you say your last name? Looters. Brett Looters. Yep. Oh, something moved there. Yes. Oh, no. Come on, Looters. No. 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 Come on out of there. Come on out of there. Yes! Oh, dang it. <laughs> Not the target size. Fish number six, I believe, though. We're pounding them. I saw that fish move, that fish. Mr. Buddy here, Mr. Mal, I'm assuming. Oh, there's no way I was losing him. He was probably in six inches of water. I threw on him, saw him move, and then he said adios. First fish, uh, or no, that wasn't my first fish on the frog. Oh. Oh, oh, oh my God. That thing blew up a fish out of the map. Oh my God, there he is. He's gonna eat this, he's gonna eat this, he's gonna eat this. Oh my gosh, that was a giant. Bastard. He missed it, he missed it. Do you see the size of that? He's so fired up. No, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I choked, I choked. In choke, got him. <laughs> the biggest fish of the day. Nothing to brag about. Two pounder. <laughs> yes. Gosh, I would have been so mad. I would have thought that was a five if I didn't catch him. Crazy story about this fish. I, you probably heard me yelling, but he blew up on a bait fish. The bait fish blew out of the mat, and then I threw my frog in there, missed him two times, and crushed him. Oh, he's feisty. Like I said, we're not keeping these fish out of the water for too long. Oh, 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 there you go. They're biting. 
Now this is fun. Starting to feel real good about that frog bite and now it's... Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. We're done bass fishing. We figured that out. We've caught them. It was fun. We've now shortened up our leader on our wacky worm rod. 10 pound test. The berries we got earlier when we got snagged. The carp are still there. They're still eating. We're gonna catch this thing. I'm so determined. Yeah. Oh my god. So big. He's so big. Oh my god. Don't bring me that down. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. No. 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 This is gonna be. My GoPro's that waterproof. No! Where'd the line go? That was like a 30 pound carp. I should have beefed him. I should have put more muscles on him. I mean, of course he goes under a dock that like, is just gonna shred 10 pound braid. I am telling you guys, that carp, I don't know if you could see it eat the thing. They're still feeding right there. We're gonna have to catch a different one. I should have dove underneath the dock. <laughs> I was like trying, the problem was like, the line got caught in. It just didn't work. That carp was like this big. Like that was a meat pot. Sight fishing carp. Who would have known? All right. Well, that was it. I think that was our shot. I think Mr. Big One said, "Hey," pulled all of his little buddies and said, "There's a little guy on that boat over there. He's a little guy. He doesn't have enough strength." And he didn't let me, he let me go into the dock. He said, you're an idiot. <laughs> and all of the carp have disappeared now. It's not the worst thing that happened. Um, I broke off on a carp. Not because of the line, but because of my fighting abilities. And it was kind of sad, so. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode of AP Bass. And thanks again for Brett for filming this and editing this. And putting this first video together for you guys. We're going to get off the water now. I'm um, cleaning this boat up. And we're getting ready for a big trip. Today is July 8th, the trip is July 9th or 10th or 7th. You guys know what day it is. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of AP Bassing. I will leave all the lures in the description that I caught these fish on. I came out here trying to catch one on the Lunker Log, the Jig, and the Filthy Frog. We ended up doing it. We ended up having a great day and uh, some laughs, some funny moments, and some lost cards. We'll catch you guys in the next episode of AP Bass.